Hey everybody, it's Kim here again. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you a feature called Guides in Storyboard Pro. So in order to use the guides, we need to actually go and open our window by going here to our tabs and clicking on the plus button. And you'll see there is a guides option right there. And it comes up with the blank box and some buttons, but we don't have any guides in the scene right now. So in order to add them, we got to go to this plus button and we're going to add the square grid first. And all of a sudden you'll see your square grid on the screen. If you can't see it, it's because you don't have your drawing tool selected. So in other words, if I go and select something else, the selection tool, your guide will disappear. So always make sure you've got your drawing tool selected. Then maybe you want a few more blocks on your grid or a few fewer. You can change that with your number of lines scroll bar. You can also hide your grid by pressing this button and then you'll just have your center line and your point. And you can move your grid by grabbing this middle point and moving it around. So what does this grid do? If you have this paintbrush button selected over here, which is a line with guide, it will make sure that when you draw, you only draw in straight lines according to the grid. You can draw anywhere on this grid. You don't actually have to draw where the lines are on the grid. So what I've done here is I've just created a very, very basic one point perspective room. And I'm just going to use my grid to draw in some details. I'm going to go and get the color that I created for this, which is just a partially transparent blue, because it's a rough. And I'm just going to go in and draw some nice details for my room. So I want some nice windows over here. And every now and then, while you're drawing, you might cross over this point and accidentally move your guide. If you don't want to move your guide and you're happy where it is, you can go and click on this button over here. It's got a little lock on it. This will lock your guide and it will prevent you from accidentally moving it. So I've drawn in some nice straight lines here. And I'm going to put in a doorway over here. Maybe in the back there's a ceiling that's coming through there. Now I'm doing this very rough. I'm going to clean it up later. But we have a little bit of a problem here because I want to start drawing some diagonal lines to go with my perspective. So we could try rotate our grid so that it matches our perspective. But the only thing is it's actually not going with our perspective because it's perfectly straight lines and blocks. We can leave our square grid and add a one point perspective guide because my room is in a one point perspective. So here you can see that we have all of the lines we need. I don't need this many lines, so I'm going to go grab this and bring it a little bit down. I think that's a bit better. And now we have our one point perspective. So now if you want to go draw diagonal lines or straight lines, you can do it with this perspective guide. Move this a little bit just to match my perspective better because my vanishing point is actually in the middle of the scene. And then I'm going to lock this guy because again, I don't want to move it. I'm happy with where it is. And you'll see that when I actually hover over this, you'll see a whole bunch of dotted lines coming up. Now, if the length of these lines bothers you a bit, you can just click on this button over here and will give you a much shorter dotted line. Now these dotted lines are guides to where your line is going to draw when you draw them. As you can see, you don't have to stick to the lines that are on your perspective grid, which is why I felt we didn't need so many in the first place. 
But one problem may be that you're trying to draw a diagonal line and you get a straight line instead. Well, if you play with your left and right keyboard buttons, you'll see it actually comes up with a selection. It actually darkens one of the dotted lines on your grid. And that will keep your line drawn on that specific dotted line. So if I want to draw something diagonal, it will only allow me to draw diagonal lines because I have that line selected. If I want to draw a horizontal line, I can use my left and right keys again and it will just select the horizontal guide. And if I use those keyboard keys again, I can just select my vertical lines. You can also use this button over here to enable your guides to work with your eraser. Because if I go use my eraser now, I can really erase wherever I want. But if I use my eraser button, you'll see that my eraser starts to snap to the guides itself. It's very handy if you want to erase a very precise line. Let's say you want to draw normally again without the guides. You can just click this enable disable guide button over here and you'll be able to draw however you want. So you're never confined to this. Okay so I'm going to just put in some details so that I can have a nice little scene here that I'm going to neaten up and you guys can see what you can do with your perspective guides. So now I've just finished my really, really basic rough, as you can see. So I'm going to go on to my next layer and I'm going to make this look nice and pretty. I'm going to put in some details that maybe don't need the perspective guides. And if you want to skip between your one point perspective and your grid, you can use the up and down keyboard arrows to do that. So now I'm going to go on to my A layer. I'm going to turn on my light table and I'm going to pretty this up using the perspective guide.
And there we have a nice little living room scene with about 80 to 90% of it done with the perspective tool or the grid. I hope this video was helpful and that you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.